Hey, this is Daniel with Unsupervised Learning. All right, in this one, I want to talk about how to use Olama, but with hugging face models. So basically, Olama is super cool. Let me just show you a little bit about it. Olama allows you to run a whole bunch of different models on the command line very quickly. You basically just go and click on one of these, and uh, this is all you run. This is all you run on the command line. So let me just show you on the command line what it looks like to run one of these things. Boom, that's it. Olama run Llama 3.2. If you didn't have it downloaded, it would have downloaded and then run. So I always say, what's the tallest tree in the world? And it gives me the tallest tree, all right? So that's how you run models. Now, Olama is cool because it has a whole bunch of models, but it's like a couple of dozen models, or maybe a few dozen. And they're really cool, they're awesome, but it's nowhere near as many as this many models. Look at this, this is Hugging Face. Over a million models, okay? So the trick is, I wanna be able to do both. I wanna have the ease of use of Olama and the model choice of Hugging Face. So. What you do, and I've got a whole post here, that's the, uh, the link in the description. It's gonna point to this post and show you how to do it. So you basically just go to the model page, which is this one here. I downloaded this one because I wanted to uh, write some fiction and Reddit said this one's really good at writing fiction. And you can have like um, violence or spicy stuff in there or whatever, and it won't bulk. It's based on Llama 3.1. It's got Llama 3.1 in the name, but it's actually uncensored so you can write some, you know, spicy stuff in there, um, you know, combat and stuff. Basic, basically anything, like even even Harry Potter wouldn't make it through most models unless it's uncensored. So uh, you, you got to make sure that um, you're using one of these modified models if you want to write actually decent fiction with like adult themes like death and combat and stuff like that. Um, so you pick the one that you want. You go to Files and Versions. You download uh, the guff file, however you pronounce that, and you have it sitting in your local directory. And then you open up a terminal, hopefully using Vim, uh, so that you don't implode the entire universe by using another inferior text editor. Just kidding. I don't really care that much. Actually, I do. Uh, I do actually care that much. I'm not kidding at all. Uh, number four is you basically create a model file, which is, it's called this, it's called model file, uh, lowercase f, capital M, and um, you add two sections to it, from and a system. And in fact, you don't even need the system, but we're gonna add it. And the from just points to the model file that you just downloaded. And the system is just the system instruction, as you know, from AI. It's uh, basically how a, an instruction gets executed as opposed to the instruction itself. So there's tons of different stuff you can add to the model file. Like this is a list of parameters, uh, templates. Yeah, you got like the system prompt template. You've got the user prompt template, responses, everything. So much stuff you can add. Don't really need to. Look how, look how simple it could be. Um, just this simple. In fact, it could just be this one line pointing to the file, honestly. It's that simple all the way out to a fully tricked out one. In fact, if you run in a llama and you just run a uh, show model on one of the uh, existing ones, it's a giant prompt. So you, you can see what a, like a fully built out one looks like, but it doesn't need to be that big. Point is it could be very simple. So once you have that model file, which looks like this in our case, you then just run Olama create Lexi writer or writer or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now we're going to run this thing. We're going to do Olama run writer and we're going to send this in here. This is a little clip of sci fi, a couple in their 20s. They're in love in 2033. AI turns into super intelligence. The girl decides to upload her brain and get a new body, like fully upgraded and everything. The guy decides to stay behind. He doesn't want to like lose his humanity. 
And then she comes to like super exclusive party with a bunch of ASI upgraded like hybrid humans and he's like serving drinks and they meet and like whatever. It's a scene, right? Okay. And here it comes back. So we've got... Yeah, we got a story coming back, right? The point is it followed the system prompt and it followed the input that we send in. So that's pretty much it. Okay, once again, just gonna go through the steps again because it's this fast. Step one, download the file. Step two, make a model file. Have at least the from line. Doesn't need anything else, but you can put your system prompt in there if you want. Do create and name it whatever you want to call it. And you run your model with Olama run and the name of the new model that you just created. And it will produce output. See you in the next one.